Hi. Now in this question, we're told that this diagram here shows the curve y equals 6, all divided by the square root of 3x plus 1. And we've got to show that the area of the shaded region here, bounded by the curve, the lines x equals 2 and x equals 9, is 4 root 7 square units. So if you'd like to have a go at this and you haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back then. Let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, first of all then, to get the area of the curve, what we've got to do is to know that this is always equal to the integral then of y with respect to x. And y in this case is 6 then divided by the square root of 3x plus 1. And we're integrating that with respect to x with the limits going from x equals 2 to x equals 9. Now to integrate something like this we need to change it around. I'm going to pull the 6 out the front because that's uh, constant and also to change this uh, from 1 over the root of 3x plus 1 to 3x plus 1 all to the power minus a half. Okay we should be familiar with that idea and we're integrating all of that with respect to x. This is going also between x equals 2 to x equals 9. Now to integrate something like this, there's two ways that we can approach this. We can either do it by inspection or recognition, and the other way is by substitution. And I'll do both ways for you. Now, not everything can be done by recognition, but this one can. We've got a linear function here, and if we were to differentiate it, it would give us a constant, and that's essentially what we've got multiplying this. So this is one that we can do by recognition, and we've got to work out essentially the adjustment factor in this. Okay, let's just put that as down as the adjustment factor. I'm going to call that adjustment factor A. So what I'm saying is that if we were to differentiate, say, some constant multiplied by 3x plus 1 to the power a half, it would give us this, basically, when it's differentiated. OK? And this comes with a fair bit of practice. So, uh, you know, do go back and look at my tutorials on this, if you're unsure. So. I'm going to differentiate this. Now, what is it going to give me? Well, the constant a is going to stay put. But being a function of x here, if we differentiate this, we need to differentiate it with the chain rule. So I would call this part here t, t to the power half. And when I differentiate that, that would be a half t to the power minus half, t being 3x plus 1 to the power minus a half, and then I need to multiply it by the differential of what I nominated to be t. t being 3x plus 1, so if I differentiate that, I get 3. So that's the chain rule, OK? And if we tidy this up, we end up with 3a over 2. I'll just put the a at the front here, and then we'll just put the 3 over 2, and then we've got 3x plus 1 to the power minus a half. Now notice how this compares with this. OK? We need to have this adjustment factor to get this 6. So that constant at the front, OK, a times 3 over 2 has got to come to 6. And if I rearrange this times both sides by 2, I'm going to get 3a equals 12, divide by 3, and then I end up with a equaling 4. OK? Right, so I can substitute this in, and I know that if I was to integrate this, I'm going to get 
4 multiplied by 3x plus 1 all to the power a half. Okay, so it takes a bit of getting used to this, but as I say, if you differentiate this, you will get 6 times 3x plus 1 to the power minus a half. And it's going between the limits 2 to 9. Now all I need to do now is just substitute these limits into here. And if I do, we've got 4. And then for the first one, if we substitute 9 in, we've got 3 9s are 27, plus 1 is 28. So we've got the square root of 28. OK? And then we subtract. And if we subtract, put the 2 in for x, we've got 3 2s are 6, plus 1 is 7. And we've got then 7 to the half, which is root 7. And I can think of root of 28 as being made up of 4 times 7. So this is the same as the square root of 4 times the root of 7. 2 root 7 in other words. So what we've got is 4 multiplied by 2 root 7 minus root 7. And 2 root 7 minus root 7 is 1 root 7 times it with the 4 and you end up with 4 root 7. 4 root 7 square units, okay, for that area. Now I did say that we could work out this integral by substitution, so I'll do that for you, okay, we'll just border this off, okay, and come down here like so. So if we're integrating this by substitution, for something like this, we would let u equal, let's just put it down here, let u equal 3x plus 1. And what we need to do is to work out what du by dx is going to be. So it follows from here that du by dx, if we differentiate this with respect to x, is going to be 3. Now we're going to want dx by du, so it follows that dx by du, we just invert this, is going to be one third. So when it comes to working out the area, okay, let's just put it in here, the area equals the integral then of x going from 2 to 9 of 6 over the root of 3x plus 1. And that's integrated with respect to x. But if I'm changing this, okay, by substitution, we'll talk about the limits in a moment. But I've got here 6 over u, okay, u to the power half, I should say, okay. So we've got 6 over u to the power half. And then in place of dx, I'm going to write that as dx and then introduce du and then put the du there. It's as if those two cancel, just leaving me with the dx there. Now we're integrating with respect to u, so I need to change the limits. And to change the limits, all I need to look at is the values when x equals 2 and when x equals 9. Get the corresponding values for u. So if we can just squeeze it in here, when x equals 2, what I notice is u is going to equal 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 is 7. And when x equals 9, we get u equaling 3 9s 27 plus 1 is 28. So u equals 28. So what we've got here is our new limits then going from 7 to 28. So just squeeze that in up there, okay? Now, to integrate this, I've got to substitute for dx by du, and that's one third. So what we have then is an integral going from 7 to 28, of 6 u over u to the power half, and then in place of dx du, I'm going to put a third, 
and then we've got du. And what I notice is that this 3 can cancel out into the 6 twice. So if I change this around, we'll put the 2 because it's a constant out the front of the integral and we're integrating from 7 to 28 and then I've got 1 over u to the half so I can bring that up as u to the power minus a half and we're integrating that with respect to u. And integrating this in the usual way, if we integrate u to the power minus a half, add 1 to the power, so that's u to the power half, and divide by the new power a half. Okay, and again this is going between 7 and 28. Now 2 divided by a half goes 4 times, so what we've got here is 4, and then we've got u to the half between the limits 7 and 28. So if I substitute 28 in first of all, we've got here 4 root 28. 4 root 28, and then put the 7 in, and we've got minus 7 to the power half minus the root of 7. And can you see that this was exactly what we had here? OK, so it's going to give us then 4 root 7, and that would be square units. So an alternative way of doing that by substitution.